The town of Banff in Alberta sits in the heart of the Canadian Rockies in its namesake national park. This quaint mountain town is surrounded by peaks in all directions. But there is one mountain that offers some of the best views of the town below. Sulphur Mountain. Located to the south of Banff town site, Sulphur Mountain's true summit stands at 2,421 metres. However, some of the best views are lower down and can be accessed by a well-trodden trail year-round. This 10-kilometre out-and-back trail takes in over 700 metres of elevation gain, and this is where most hikers choose to end their walk. Although, like any hike, it is rewarding and the views are more than worth it, unfortunately, today, I don't have the time. Luckily, there's also a gondola that goes up there. The Banff Gondola offers the opportunity for every visitor of any ability to take in some of the Bow Valley's best views. Situated two and a half kilometres south of the town of Banff, the gondola base station offers limited parking. But during summer, your gondola ticket will also entitle you to a free return trip on public transport, which I would highly recommend taking advantage of. The gondola climbs the mile long track in just eight minutes, climbing to just over 2,200 metres whilst offering fantastic views of Cascade Mountain and the town of Banff below. Not only do you have jaw-dropping views to look forward to, but the gondola terminal itself also offers interactive exhibits showcasing the wildlife, people and scenery in Banff National Park. You can also take in the views whilst enjoying a gourmet meal or cocktail in one of the restaurants. For me, the highlight is of course the boardwalk and viewing decks. As well as ridiculous vistas, there are sculptures and multiple ways to keep warm. The boardwalk to the Cosmic Ray Station offers multiple lookouts, spanning every direction. And as well as enjoying those kind of walkways and all the exhibits and everything inside the building, you know, my main reason for coming up here is of course photography. And one of the best places to shoot as well is almost back towards the main kind of gondola building. You've got lots of different uh, kind of walkways and banisters and rails that make some really nice leading lines. It's also worth grabbing out a longer lens and grabbing some of those closer shots of the Bow River and the Fairmont below. Personally, I think these shots work better in the summer, when the river is flowing bright and blue.
So the sun is pretty much set up here on Sulphur Mountain and as you can hear the music from tonight's Night Rise event uh, which is kind of like a light show they run during winter. So that's all just started and I think that might make for some really cool pictures later on once the sun's down a little bit more. But for the meantime I'm set up just down from the gondola building actually with a camera pointing back towards town. I've got my 6D behind me here with a 50mm lens on it just pointing towards Cascade Mountain and the town below. So what I'm doing with that is I'm going to shoot some images now during the blue hour and hopefully maybe get some alpine glow in the sky and then that's going to give me a good base image and then later on when the lights come on in town I'm going to get a couple more shots and then blend those two together in post. So it's kind of a time blend and if that's something you haven't tried before I would highly recommend doing it. It just kind of gives an extra bit of dynamic edge to an image. Once the sun went down, the cold set in, and we decided to make our way down, but not before enjoying some of the night rise festivities. The beauty of winter on Sulphur is that you have time to see the sunset before the last gondola heads down for the night. 